Howdy builders, welcome back to La Prague City. Today we're going to go into episode 4 of our build guide. In episode 3, you guys saw us build this beautiful park over here. Lots of trees, a lot of amenities for our population to be able to get in here and um, just have an enjoyable place to visit. Plus it's got schools for our, our sims to, to be able to go to. We are almost at our next objective, which is Busy Town, which we can get to relatively easily. Um, so in this particular episode, we're going to fill in this corner right here. So we're going to have to do some terraforming over here, I believe, in order to connect this. We're going to fill in this section right here with residential and this section right here with residential, which will get, get us this Busy Town completed. And then we're going to add in another commercial zone right here. Um, I was planning on doing the forestry over here, but some things need to happen before we do that because if we go through here and go ahead and add this forestry in, then it's going to take away a lot of jobs. So I think right now we're just going to leave this the way that it is. And then what we're going to do is build over here and um, start building a beautiful farm over in this corner of the build so that we can do that we're not going to do that this episode so that'll be the next episode that we get in here and build a beautiful farm over here and then this most likely will stay this way for a while until we um, get some more stuff unlocked and then um, we'll go from there but this episode we're going to focus on this little part of the town and this part of the town right here so that we can really prepare ourselves um, for one where we make it more of our income and then we'll be adding in um, some uh, residential for for the city as well uh, looks like we have a little bit of an emergency over here so not a big deal we're just going to go in and boost our electricity up a little bit so we can get that fixed it's kind of weird i thought we just build one of these but yeah it is what it is all right so let's get in here and start building um, we're going to wrap this around to here and make this connection here so in order to do that i believe we're going to have to take out some of this right here it's not going to be a squared off um, part of it but I do want it to be symmetrical and then we're gonna we're gonna um, soften it out back out once we get done building our connection over here so let's get this built in so we're gonna go down to here we're gonna go up to here and then we're gonna round this bad boy out there we go just like that looks good Looks beautiful, beautiful. All right, so we're gonna soften this out a little bit here. This was already pretty, pretty steep right here, but this right here we took in a little bit. So we're gonna soften it out, make it look like more like a hill. We don't want any rocks or anything falling off this, hitting anybody in there. Um, I do realize that I forgot to put in some rocks over here. So let's add in a few rocks for texture because I like rocks as well. Um, we can add in some small ones if we want or we can add in some bigger ones um, for some of that texture as well and kind of give kind of give the kids a little something they can climb on and stuff as well because kids like climbing on rocks so and it's pretty close to a hill so it kind of makes sense for there to be some rocks around for that are like moved from the the hill or the mountain over here to the little field that we got going on so it kind of makes sense for us to have a few rocks strewn about in this little area over here. Um, we'll add one more in this corner over here. Boom, there we go. All right, so now we got some rocks in there. <laughs> and scene, that's fantastic. All right, let's see here. We're gonna go down to here. Oops, let's turn this back on here. I'm excited about the road tools and city skylines too um been seeing some of the videos being played on it and how the, the the developers really focused on some of the stuff that we've been asking for for the last few years and brought it in city skylines too um there are some things that we're gonna miss for a while on city skylines too um like the fences you guys know i like to play some fences in my cities so we're gonna be missing those fences for a little bit 
I'm hoping that they bring in some DLC that's got those fences later on. Obviously, if we're buying DLC on here, we're most likely going to be buying DLC on there as well. So um, that is definitely something that we're going to be looking at um, in the future for the growth of the game. That one fit in there perfect. Okay, let's go in here. Bam, there we go. All right, and we're going to do the same thing on this side. These may not have power initially, although it may jump. Yeah, I think it's going to jump from there. Um, I really do like the parking lots. They're a great addition to being able to build in, in our cities. All right, down and over, up and around, and around we go. Okay, up we go, down and around. Just connect that there. I don't think I want to connect this. I, uh, it's not going to let me anyways without a weird connection anyhow. So we're not going to connect that. We're going to probably make this a park or something over here. Um, but we are going to have this connection here that brings us through. And then these connections going into the little community here. Um, let's fix our light situation. I really hope they, they fix this in CS2 with the lights. Because they can be quite frustrating at times. Um, where people like weirdly get stopped there for an un unjustly amount of time. And I'm like, that makes absolutely no sense in the real world why they would be sitting there as long as they're being forced to sit there. So hopefully they fix that um, part of the city. And then let's bring those down. There we go. All right. And then we're going to add some residential in. Need people to spend money at the shop base. Shoppers, 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 shoppers. Let's get some shoppers up in here. Oop, hold on. I don't think I did that. Yep, I need to extend this down before we get too carried away here. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. Let's get back in here. All right. And three. And there we go. All right, so what this is going to do, this isn't going to be an even connection, but this is going to come over, and this is going to come over right here. Oh, that might pose a problem. This might be at an angle right here, just to connect to this, this line over here. We'll see what happens. We'll see how that plays out. And let's get our fence in. Nature fence, where is it? There we go. Okay. So we're gonna get our nature fence in. I really like the look of this around the commercial shops here. That one might have to be moved. If you guys notice, I didn't add a connection in on this side. This is gonna be, it's not going to be an artery per se, but it's going to come over and connect to this farming community over here. So I don't really want anything built along it um, until we get to this artery right here. So it's going to be a collector, but it's going to be a collector that kind of mimics an artery for a little bit. So we don't want to build too much connected to it so that we don't clog it up with traffic. So we got to watch our traffic flow on it. And we're going to add some more of that in. We may have to add in some more. Let me pull up our terrain so I can see where our train is. All right. Um, let's see here. It's awfully steep up here. I don't think I can add anything in. I can add a little bit down this way. I don't really want to add anything on that side either. So we're just going to con continue our road over. And we're going to start on our... We'll start on our um, farming over here. So 1820 is a good place for me when I'm building roads over the interstate um how far was that nine forty all right nine forty 
down at 1820 pm all right and we're going to take this down we're not going to go that far i think we're going to just go right around because this is going to connect over here that's a little too far okay Yeah, I think that'll that'll go good right there. Okay, and then we're gonna take this out for now. We're gonna round this out here as well, and let's do that. Bam, bam. There we go. And it will will um put in a park low right here for for the farming to get on and off so they're not having to go through the, the actual town so we'll add that in as well um next episode that'll be part of what we build in all right so there's that there's that okay and keep in mind that um as we bring this around here that we're not going to have these commercial all the way down through here, not until we get closer to downtown. And we're going to put a shopping complex over here. This is going to be a amusement park type thing over here um, so that we can build that in. Not enough room for a zoo. I don't think we're going to have a zoo in this city because there's not going to be enough room for us to put, put it on a flat service in this particular build. Um, I do like putting city, uh, zoos in my cities, though, because I think they have a nice flow to them. So you guys will see me do that in other cities as we continue to build. Um, let's see here. I'm going to have to add a electricity connection. I kind of want it to be realistic in a way, so we're going to build... Oh, I don't want to take out the rock. Now we're going to go around the rock. Okay. And then we're going to go... Over? That's weird. <laughs> That's weird that I had to do it like that, but it's okay. It's okay. All right, and we're going to bring this down. Some of this might end up getting taken out or moved as we build our industrial area just because that's a little big just because the um the power lines make the farming communities look pretty cool if you build them like right in them so we can actually use this to our advantage to make it have a nice appeal appealing look to it all right let's extend our water connections down our weird water connections i would like them to be under the roads um that is one thing that i'm relatively excited about with cs2 is that you don't have to worry necessarily about building your water lines they are already built into the road networks and the road system so you don't have to worry about that anymore like we do right now like there's a pretty good debate on like should they be built with the roads should they be built outside of the roads like what should that look like um boom town busy town <laughs> yay okay um <laughs> we fantastic all right so let's build in some farm we're not going to get too deep into farms right now we just need some jobs for people. I like using dirt roads. And I see that like our fertile, fertile connections are right here. Like I said at the beginning of this whole this whole ep, um this whole series like there's not a whole lot of resources on this particular map. So you got to be very very resourceful on the resources that you're using so that you can um 
really maximize your benefits of the few resources that they give you. Um, let's see here. go and we're gonna put in some small farms so this is gonna give us this isn't gonna give us very much 17 this is 2,000 this is 3,000 so it gets us a little bit more throughout here um, and then this is gonna give us the least amount but that's fine okay um, I do like to decorate my areas and I make my farms look more realistic. We're going to take this road out for now because I want to show you guys what I'm talking about. Do, do, do. Okay, we're going to go down. I don't think we need to go down that far. To there. Okay, there we go. I'm going to take that out and then we're going to add in a little street right here. And we're going to add in our power lines back. We're going to put a little house down in here. And we want this to be All right, so we're going to do this. We're going to continue with our European suburbia, which it looks like it already, nope, it didn't. Okay. We're going to add in a silo. Where did I put the house? Right here. We're going to put a silo in next to the house. And then we're going to build a fence around. take off everything we're gonna build a fence around this let me go far enough on this down right here okay there we go And then we're going to make this look like an actual like farm farm. So we're going to do some different things here to make this look a little more realistic. So this, this one right here is going to be a greenhouse. And the rest of these are going to be corn fields for now. So we're going to do corn. I don't know if they, they grow corn in Europe. Shame on me, I should really know. But what this looks like to me is that you have a little farming house right here, which has a little shack next to it. That looks pretty cool. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not disappointed with that at all. Um, we might add another little shack on this side. Bam. Okay, so now we're gonna have two little shacks. All right, so now what we have is a farming house and it looks like an industrial building with a bunch of corn field right here. Um, and to me, this looks realistic. Like this looks like something you'd be driving down the road and you'd be like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks like a, that actually looks like a farm. That looks pretty cool. And um, it did satisfy some of our uh, demand as well. So we're going to put another little farm on this side of the little street here. Of course why wouldn't it let me do that you know because that would make sense Ooh, we're not getting much on that one all right let me see if we can slide this over there we go all right and then we're gonna mimic what we have on this side so we're gonna bring this down let me turn my road on or my stuff back on here we're gonna bring this down we're going to have the greenhouse in the same place. And then we're going to do wheat this time. Wheat. 
and I'm picking I'm specifically picking crops that we're going to use for livestock because th a lot of this is going to end up being livestock stuff over on the side since there's not a lot of resources over here um and I think that's going to work well for what we're going for all right so we're going to do the same thing on this side it's kind of going to mirror each other I don't know why I just clicked on that it's kind of going to mirror each other And I think it's going to look pretty cool when we're done with it. All right, I'll bring that down. Bring that down here. And we're going to take this down here. Y'all let me know in the comments. Do you like Do you like the way I did this? Do you like the way this looks in um, this farming area over here? Or would you like to see me do it a more traditional, like, plop, 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 like we see um, in, in a lot of different cities, like, where you get a lot of, like, plop, ploppable stuff throughout the little areas and stuff. Um, we're not going to really do much in this area. I kind of like the trees. One thing I will do, I don't want to mess too much with the dynamics of it, but um, we're going to put some trees kind of in the middle of the fields because as you're driving around if you guys ever pass a farm you'll see trees kind of just like randomly placed we'll put a couple more around the houses over here it's not really going to impact around these houses necessarily but you'll see you'll see trees kind of in fields sometimes in the middle of them that are just like out there and i grew up around farms so I'm used to driving by and seeing random trees and places. So we're going to add a couple trees just for texture and to make it look a little more realistic to what you would actually see if you were driving down the street and you saw a farm on that street. You, you might see some of these trees and stuff around. All right, there we go. Fantastic. All right, so that looks pretty realistic to me. Um, considering like where I grew up and stuff. So now what we need is some, um, we have the bakery unlocked. So for the bakery, we need flour mills and we need animal products. So um, we're going to do some of that in this episode as well to get us started. And we have our cattle sheds unlocked as well. Sometimes instead of putting these here, actually, I think I'm going to take this one out because it's not really producing anything and i want to show you how you can utilize a cattle shed to really like drive that experience up in here i mean uh, all right don't be mad at me i didn't want to do that I don't know if this is going to allow me to place the cattle shed or not, but we're going to try. I don't know if that's going to give us enough room. Yeah, there we go. There we go. All right, so now let's go back in here. We can build our houses back in. But it gives it more of that realistic, like, farming vibe. And it's kind of cool because it, it serves a purpose, but it also gives it a nice vibe to it that I, I personally pretty pretty like pretty much like um sometimes what i'll use in later builds is the this right here down here and it kind of looks like a house so you could do that too if you didn't want to do the residential and and put those over here you could do that but um you could also use the residential like i'm doing in this particular example all right let's see here i do want our bakery up here by the highway So as people are driving by, they can actually see it and be like, oh, that's where Go Nuts Donuts comes from. Yeah, I was always wondering where Go Nuts Donuts come from. So we can always place this up here by the interstate. And I like the sign to be facing the interstate or the little highway so people can actually see, oh, that's, that's Go Nuts Donuts right there. So you can put it on this side over here. 
you can surround it with some trees and stuff we'll, we'll get to that here in a minute let's get the rest of what we need in here built so we know we need some flour mills so we're going to add some flour mills in where do I want to put the flour mills there's a little bit of resources left over here still and looks like there's a little bit over here so I don't want to go haywire on where I place these things at um because I still want to be able to utilize those resources that we have so we're going to build this down keep in mind our interstate is going to or the extension to get over here is going to be right in this area so we don't want to go crazy crazy over here with what we're doing either um so that we make sure we we give ourselves enough room to be able to do what we need to do all right so i'm going to do this i think that's going to be enough room for two of these side by side one two yep so that gives us enough room for two of those side by side and we're still going to have room for our highway system right here so that's going to be good um we're going to move we are going to move this electrical line to the front side that way it's going along the highway and gives it that cool like farming vibe type thing there's not enough resources here so we're going to go ahead and take that out and we're going to do what we did on the other side on the side if it'll let us not enough room That's fucked. It's fine. It's fine. I promise it's fine. There we go. That should give us enough room. Oop. There we go. Let's get our houses back in. All right, so we're we're well on our way at this point. We need um we do need some some um pasture processing and stuff, but we're gonna get that here in, in a few. Um, we're gonna ex just expand this down to here for now, and then after this road, we'll do another district. So we'll put another district in here. If you guys want me to name these districts, please by all means put it in the comments what you would like to see them named if you want them named after you let me know that if you got like somebody you want to do a, a remembrance of um let me know because i can i can do those as well um i just want to get those named so that we know what our districts should be called so um let me know in the comments if you'd like to see names on those and what you would like to see those named so that i can go ahead and start getting those um taken care of as well all right, where's our go nuts donuts? We can build that. We we do have. We're just gonna plop this for now. We may end up moving it later, depending on where we want it to be at. We may move this road over a hair as well later on. It just depends on what we end up looking at in this in this build, and then we're gonna put our. Our line down through here. I wish these curved a little bit better, but I, they don't. So we just got to do what we got to do. All right. And then that gives it a nice look. We're going to add a farming fence along here once we figure out and get settled where everything's going to be and all those, the, all those parts of the, the build as well. So once we get everything zeroed in, we will um definitely add farming fences in and stuff like we did over here because this looks really nice let me know in the comments what y'all think about this farm right here too because i'm kind of curious to see uh, what y'all starts are all right so these are actually polluting our residents over here so we are going to take these out and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put in these now, if you if you just had the greenhouses, they would be fine. But since you don't, you can put these in, and they still look like little houses over here, and so give it that realistic look. Uh, unfortunately, these are polluting it, 
so it takes out some of that um, look for us. All right, so we're going to add some more in here. Our goal today is to fill this in uh, and do some more industry, actually fill this in was our goal in this, but in order to build this, we really needed more industry in so that um, people had jobs to go to. And I feel like we're doing that now, adding those those jobs in for people to be able to come to and, and be able to work because working is important. Working is definitely important. All right, let me see here. We do, we can add in some milking parlors. I think those are important as well. So we're gonna go down, down. Uh, we're gonna do that. All right, and we're gonna add in a couple of milking parlors here as well. There we go. Oh, we need uh, sewage apparently. So let's go add some sewage in. I saw that out of the corner of my eye. I'm like, oh, we don't want people to get sick. And we're going to go ahead and add a power plant in while we're over here. These give us a little bit more. All this is going to move over here when we put in our oil and ore industry over here. But for now, that's what we got. We're going to do that. Um, I always like the look of water towers and the farming areas. So we're going to put one over here as well. Bam. Just like that. It might move. It'll probably end up moving. But it'll work for now. I'm not sure why traffic popped up, but if you guys see, we're at a 94%, and we're at 6,000 um, population as well. So that means we're doing pretty good on traffic flow. With a lot of the stuff that we've done in this build to mitigate traffic, it doesn't surprise me that we have such good traffic flow um, because the way we have our artery set up, this is going to go, like I said, this is going to go walking path and this is going to go walking path. And um, that's going to change the traffic here as well. So that's probably where we're getting a lot of our traffic right now there and over here with our industry. So um, by putting in these walking paths, that's going to take out quite a bit of the traffic flow right here. And then um, when we turn this over into the forestry industry, then that'll help with traffic flow over there as well. But that's where our traffic is coming from right now, those two areas. And I know this was going to be a congestion the way I have it set up. I just haven't put in the, re I, haven't, I haven't invested the resources to make this a walkable path yet, like my plan, like I'm planning on doing. All right, there's that. And that, and I think we, we're about filled up on this. We need a huge amount of industry standards in here. So um, we're going to go ahead and end this video where we're at right now. And because we have a lot of industry demand. And then when we come back on episode six, we're going to finish this out over here. Um, possibly even expand in here and build a huge farm over here and um, start looking at what we can do to continue to grow our population with our industries. So um, stay tuned. Episode six will be coming shortly. And I look forward to seeing you all next time. I do appreciate you watching. If you like this video, hit that like and subscribe button so you can come back and see more and get notifications when I post them. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.